lead intention is to ease some of the negativity that you may be feeling right now because of what's going on in the world with this uh, pandemic. So we want to give you some immediate relief and we also want to just increase awareness of, of using EFT as a tool that you can use. As, you, um, as you're gonna find out, we're gonna do some group tapping and we're gonna do some individual tapping and we'll explain more about that later. But we wanna, we wanna leave you in a better place than when we started today, if you're, if you're feeling some anxiety. Yeah, so thanks, Chris. We're, I'm just gonna go over um, a few ground rules. I also wanna point out that we are recording. I forgot to start the recording, so we missed the introduction <laughs> part, but I got, I got it right after the introductions. Um, and we will be recording for most of the session, but not all the sessions. So I'll explain that here. I'm going to go over just um, some, some ground rules before we actually really get into uh, the EFT and the tapping. And then we're going to start with a global tapping, that a session that uh, Chris is going to run. And we'll have everybody kind of throwing out some of the things that you're feeling and struggling with in the chat. And then in the second um, half, we're going to ask for an actual volunteer and I'm going to tap directly with that person and you'll get to borrow the benefits and we'll explain kind of how that works as we go along. When we get to the volunteer piece, we're actually going to stop the recording. So before we jump in to working with that volunteer, um, we'll just do some kind of tidying up, wrap up stuff. It'll be a little weird just because that'll be the end of the recording for anybody who's only seen the recording. Um, but just know that we're going to follow up and, and, and do some more tapping after that. Um, so for ground rules, if you're new to Zoom, we said a little bit, but I'll just say it for anybody who, who jumped in here um, after we first mentioned that. There is a chat, so there's a bunch of um, buttons that are um, at the bottom of the screen. If you enable the chat, it should pop up onto the right. If you're on a computer, things look a little different if you're calling in from um, a tablet or mobile using the app. Um, but uh, we have people's uh, audio and video disabled for this, so it's just going to be uh, Chris and I until we get to the, the point where we have a volunteer and we'll enable that. And um, do we have anybody who is new to EFT, like brand new, you haven't done it before um, on the call? So there's, actu there's actually a way for you to click yes or no, kind of like, it's almost like a raising your hand, but you can also write in the chat. Um, I think that a lot of the people here have done um, some type of EFT. Um, but we're going to save um, a Q&A for, for later in the call. So we'll awesome. go through and uh, share a bunch of information, but um, hopefully it should be pretty self-explanatory. Um, it's really good to have water and to be drinking water. Um, anytime you're doing energy work, um, EFT is no exception. Um, doing um, that while you're hydrated, you're going to get better results. So we like to have some water or at least non-caffeinated beverages um, here. Um, I don't know if it'll be necessary, but tissues are sometimes helpful. <laughs> I always have a box of tissues um, when I'm working with clients and doing EFT. And um, because we're dealing with this, this virus, we're going to be showing um, the regular EFT tapping points, but also some additional um, ways if you don't want to be touching your face at this time. So um, we've both washed our hands ahead of time and we'll wash our hands when, our, when we're done. Um, but Chris will sh show the regular tapping points and I'll show some alternative points so you can, can follow along um, with either of us. And the other thing I want to point out is if you, if you get overwhelmed and flooded during the, the tapping call, um, you, you don't have to say anything, just keep tapping. Um, that's gonna help um, get your system uh, regulated and more grounded just by tapping. So whatever you're able to can you continue doing, even if you're feeling uh, tears coming and feeling like you're not able to re repeat uh, the statements um, that we're asking people to say, that's okay, just keep tapping um, anytime you're, you're feeling uh, that overwhelm of emotion um, and you're still gonna get the same results. The idea, with the words that we use in EFT is to bring you in touch with the emotion. So if you're already having tears and all of that, you're already in touch with it. So just, just keep on tapping. Let's see, I think those were the, the main uh, things we wanted to, to, to throw out there in the ground rules. And just um, didn't sound like we had anybody who was uh, really 
new to EFT, but in case um, somebody watching the recording is new to EFT, I like to refer to EFT as an emotional form of acupuncture without the needles. Um, but really, it's a, it's a type of energy work uh, that has a lot of um, science behind it. So it's highly focused, evidence supported, uh, and it's a self-help method. And that's one of the things that I really love it. It's really empowering and effective. It helps us rapidly release negative um, impacts of stress and traumatic events in our lives. And that's exactly why we wanted to get it out into everybody's hands um, during this, this pandemic. So with that, I'll turn it on over to Chris. Okay. And uh, just to reiterate, um, if you do have a question that can't wait till the Q&A part of this, feel free to type it in the chat window and one of us will try to answer it when we can get to it. So we're going to start with uh, doing some, let's just get into it and do some tapping. Um, and we're going to do, at first we're going to do something we call global tapping. It's kind of for a situation kind of like this, where maybe you have a lot of anxiety about something, but you, you, you don't even maybe... Um, it's hard to zoom in on one particular thing. Uh, it is true that when we do, uh, tapping is most effective when we really deal with specific events, but this kind of global tapping can be used for kind of a zooming into that. It can start in a kind of in a global way and then eventually get more specific. So it's, a, it's kind of a way we say to sneak up on something specific. So um, Let's see what else. So the basic formula of tapping is, and I, I know a lot of you probably have know this already, but we'll just go through it really quickly. So the basic formula is, um, even though I have this feeling because of this thing, this event that's happened, um, I still, and we we usually use um, deeply and completely, accept myself, and sometimes I'll I'll add and, and accept my feelings as well. Um, so that's the basic formula, and we uh, will follow that formula. You can make some changes if you already know something. You can change the words to something that works for you if you like. If you have a different affirmation you want to use, that's fine. Um, so right now, what I'd like you to do is um, kind of tune into the COVID-19 pandemic, and just in the chat window, if you could just um, type out some of the things you're anxious about. I'll give everyone a minute to to do that. Just whatever comes up up for you as you think about this pandemic. Um, I know some people have um, financial concerns, um, health concerns, um, loss of freedom. But whatever your specific concerns are, feel free to type those in, please. Okay, I'm seeing some people there. Uh, yeah. Okay. Great. Okay, so um, feel free to um, keep adding those if you like, and we'll get ahead and get started on this. Um, so uh, just follow along with me, and I'd like you to – oh, no, the first thing I want to ask you is – uh, the other thing we want to do is we, we like to kind of gauge how intense the feeling is. So, and we're talking about anxiety here right now. Um, so we usually use a scale from zero to 10 to say how intense is the feeling right now. And that's something we'll check after we tap a little bit and we'll just check on that again to see if there's been any change. It's very possible to go down. It could stay the same and it could go up. If, as you tune into something, sometimes you get more anxious about, about it. So there's no wrong answer. It's just something we'd use to gauge how effective the tapping is, is going, that's all. Um, okay, let's catch up on these here. Okay, so we've got some really good stuff here. Um, all right, so let's see here. Okay, so yeah, repeat after me and we'll get started. So we're gonna start on the side of your hand and uh, just tap at whatever pace works for you, but um, just follow along, and like I said before, you can change the words if they don't work for you exactly. So even though I'm experiencing all this anxiety, when I think about this pandemic, I'm worried about travel and freedom, um, other people's anxiety bleeding over to me or to others. Um, I'm worried about the 
people growing, um, being very fearful and the breakdown of community, the health of my family and friends. I gotta scroll up here to see some more of these here. Okay. Uh, um, people sending me conspiracy theories. Um, and I have financial concerns. What if I lose my job? What if I've already lost my job and I don't get it back? What if I run out of money? What if I can't pay my rent? What if I can't pay my mortgage? So you get the idea and just, you can add whatever you want to that. And despite all that, I still deeply and completely accept myself. And I accept the way I'm feeling. And we're gonna go through that and do that three times. I'll be a little more concise this time. So even though, even though I'm experiencing all this anxiety, I'm experiencing all this anxiety. When I think about this pandemic, when I think about this pandemic, I'm worried about money. I'm worried about money. I'm worried about my health. I'm worried about my health. The health of my family and friends. The health of my family and friends. I'm worried about the people on the front lines. I'm worried about the people on the front lines. And um, I'm I'm feeling a loss of freedom. I'm feeling a loss of freedom. I'm worried about my own safety. I'm worried about my own safety. And still, I deeply and completely accept myself. And still, I deeply and completely accept myself. And I accept the way I'm feeling. And I accept the way I'm feeling. So even though I'm feeling this anxiety. Even though I'm feeling this anxiety. When I think about this pandemic. When I think about this pandemic. I'm worried about my money situation. I'm worried about my money situation. My health and well-being. My health and well-being. My community. My community. And uh, even death. And even death. And still, I deeply and completely accept myself. And still, I deeply and completely accept myself. And I accept the way I feel. I accept the way I feel. Was that three times, Andrew, or is that twice? Yeah, that's three. That's three. Okay, great. So now we go to the top of the head. All this anxiety. All this anxiety. And then between the eyes, you can use one hand or two hands. All this anxiety. All this anxiety. And if you don't want to touch your face, you can follow along with me. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Andrew's going to do the points if you're worried about touching your face at this point. And then the side of the eye. I just don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. This is the liver point. It's right under the breast, the bottom of the rib cage. And then under the eye, all this anxiety. All this anxiety under the arm. Under the nose, I don't know what's gonna happen. And then on the chin point. I don't know what's gonna happen. All this anxiety. All this anxiety. I'm gonna go. <clears throat> And then the collarbone, all this anxiety. All this anxiety. And then under the arm, all this anxiety. All this anxiety. Good. So everyone, um, just take a breath and um, you know, get a drink of water if you want. <clears throat> and we just wanna you might want to just check in on this and see if you're the number you came up with. Um, has gone down or up or stayed the same. Um, like I say, this is a global tapping, so um, we're just kind of practicing on this and then we'll get into something specific later. So mine was about a, around a, probably a six or seven. And right now 
it's probably gone down to, I would say four or five. And uh, one thing that happens to me, if you, if you experience tapping, you might notice your own physiological um, reaction to tapping. Like for me, I, I yawn a lot when I'm releasing these emotions or energy, I, I definitely, uh, I, I start yawning. So I just had coffee, so I'm not tired. So, <laughs> but okay, so. yawning, uh, sighing, burping. I've even had people who laughed as they're released. So releasing looks different for everybody crying, getting tired. Um, yeah, it can look a lot of different ways. Yeah. So, um, let's do another round and, um, we'll, we'll give you a little more specific. I'm going to really just focus on the financial stuff just on this one round. This is kind of just give you a little experience with just being more specific. So on the side of the hand again, even though I'm really worried about my finances, even though I'm really worried about my finances. When I think about this pandemic. When I think about this pandemic. I don't know if I'll have enough money for my mortgage. I don't know if I'll have enough money for my mortgage. And I might lose my job. What if I lose my job? My investments are doing terrible. My investments are doing terrible. <clears throat> I don't know if I'll be able to retire in 10 years. I don't know if I'll be able to retire. And still, I deeply and completely accept myself. And still, I deeply and completely accept myself. And the way I'm feeling right now. And the way I'm feeling right now. Even though I'm really worried about my finances. Even though I'm really worried about my finances. <clears throat> One thing I did mention, but you can kind of add, is sometimes you can feel that worry in your body. And if you can, you, if you can identify that, you, it's, it's a good thing to say that. So for me, it would be in my belly. So I'll just add that. Um, and I, I feel this um, heaviness in my belly. I feel this heaviness in my belly. When I think about this pandemic. When I think about this pandemic. I don't know if I'm, I'm going to have enough money. I don't know if I'm going to have enough money. How am I going to pay my bills? How am I going to pay the bills? And still I deeply and completely accept myself. And still I deeply and completely accept myself. And the way I'm feeling right now. And the way I'm feeling right now. <clears throat> One more time, even though I'm feeling a lot of worry about money. Even though I'm feeling a lot of worry about money. When I think about this pandemic. When I think about this pandemic. I don't know if I can pay my bills. I don't know if I can pay my bills. What if I lose my job? What if I lose my job? What if the economy just goes into a downward spiral? What if the economy goes into a downward spiral? And still, I deeply and completely accept myself. And still, I deeply and completely accept myself. And was it one more time? Was that, was that twice? Or three times? <laughs> <laughs> <Totally tried. laughs> it's supposed to be three times. I don't remember. <laughs> well, we'll, just, we'll just go ahead to the top of the thing. So I just want to get in here real quick. Uh, all right. So, uh, again, all this, I'll say all this worry about money. 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 And by the way, it's fine to use two hands if you want. You can use one hand, it doesn't matter. All this worry about money. All this worry about money. Move into the liver point for those who don't want to touch the face. I don't know if I can pay my bills. I don't know if I can pay my bills. <clears throat> this heaviness in my belly. Under the arm. This heaviness in my belly. All this worry about money. All this worry about money. How am I going to pay my bills? How am I going to pay my bills? With the rest points. And this, this, um, all this worry about money. All this worry about money. So you want to just check in now and, um, Just reading some of the messages here. Just want to check in now and just see if that, uh, what we started with, the zero to 10 on your anxiety level, see if there's been any shift in that. And um, if you feel like sharing that in the chat window, um, feel free if it's gone down or up or things you noticed. Uh, you might notice uh, something specific that you are worried about more than anything else. Uh, you might become present to something that has been a concern that you just didn't realize how concerned you were about that or which particular part of this is really bothering you the most. 
so. Yeah, so sometimes it will just be that it starts to get better and sometimes it'll be that something else comes up, you get more clarity about what's really going on for you. Yeah. Okay, good, Amy, I see your comment there. Okay, Alfred, thank you. Oh, nice. Jody said you cried. Um, you want to check in with maybe with uh, Jody and um, yeah. Jody, just let us know if you're okay. I mean, it's okay to cry. That's just from Billy. Yeah, Jody, thank you. That oftentimes the feeling might shift to a different part of your body. It mm -hmm. might go from your belly to your chest or anything like that. Okay. Yeah, and I I I felt mine move in my body as well. Okay, great. Thank you, Jody. Yeah, Jody, Jody's uh, good and in touch with her feelings. <laughs> it's quite all right. Yeah. Thank, thanks for sharing, everyone. Yeah. Um, yeah, so you can see, like, it doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong. If it, if it spikes, um, usually it's because something's come up um, that is more specific for you, and it's giving you more clarity about what, what you're upset, up, as, as upset about, um, potentially. Um, but to have it go down um, with the global tapping is really good as well. So did you want to do um, one more round? Um, I don't know. You think we're okay? Or I think we're probably all right. Okay. So. Um, mm. Thanks, Mike. Yeah. Thanks for everybody sharing and just diving in. I'm loving it. Um, yeah, um, yeah, Mike, I just want to say something about that. So yeah, sometimes. You know, I'll sit down and I'm like, I'm not anxious about anything. And then I'll start like thinking about something. And I'm like, I d you don't realize like stress and anxiety sometimes are the water we swim in. We don't realize how much we're carrying around. So one thing we want to say about this technique is it's just a great way to process um, the stuff that we're holding on to, the emotions. Um, like Andrea said, it's like a, a acupuncture without needles. So it allows you to kind of release that stuff and process that stuff. There's some real uh, benefit in saying those things aloud, getting them out of your head, and just accepting yourself anyway, even though you're having these feelings that you may not want to have right now, so. Yeah, perfect. So that was glo global tapping. <laughs> um, how, how, are, how are people doing? Like, thanks, everybody's been sharing, but does anybody have anything else they would like to share? Feel free to put that um, in the, the side chat there. Um, and did any, anybody, um, have anything more they want to share than what they've already shared? Any, any, any big awarenesses or, or comments or, or, um, even questions that you might have right now, um, would be a, a good time for that. Um, mm. Yeah, thanks, Mara. Aware of how ungrounded and uncentered that she's allowed herself to be instead of just doing more EFT tapping because Mara's already familiar with EFT. Great to have you on here with us. Thanks for showing up. Um, yeah, thanks everyone for sharing. So, Chris, would you uh, would you like to do a sneak a sneaking away of this global round, and then we can? Yeah, yeah. Um, normally, I would uh, if you if you want to share something that you got out of this global tapping, and some of you already have. If you have anything new, you can feel free to share that, and we'll use that in this uh, technique we call sneaking away. Because sometimes we are tapping on something we don't have. You know, we get into something we don't have time to maybe finish it, and we want to just kind of set it aside for now. So. We have a technique called sneaking away. Um, okay, thank you, Amanda. So um, we'll just do a round of that and uh, then we'll go from there. So uh, back on the side of the hand. Even though I'm, I still have some anxiety. Even though I still have some anxiety. Uh, there's, more, there's more to be done here. There's more to be done here. But I'm really glad I spent this time. But I'm really glad I spent this time. I feel more grounded than I did before. I feel more grounded than I did before. Even though I still have some anxiety. Even though I still have some anxiety. I feel okay to set this aside for now. I feel okay to set this aside for now. And come back to it when I'm ready. And come back to it when I'm ready. Even though I still have some anxiety to work on. Even though I still have some anxiety to work on. I'm proud of myself for doing some tapping. I'm proud of myself for doing some tapping. And I would say, and I have 
learned more of what's going on for me. Yeah. Yeah. You can add stuff for sure. Um, and I feel better than when I started. I feel better than when I started. Mm -hmm. So then we just go around and we'll just do some more of those affirmations. Yeah. So, um, yeah, my anxiety has gone down a bit. My anxiety has gone down some. And I realized some of the things that are really concerns for me. I realized some of the things that are really a concern for me. And now maybe I can take action on those concerns. Now maybe I can take some action on those concerns. And I can tap some more later if when I'm ready. I can tap some more later when I'm ready. I feel good about the work I've done today. I feel good about the work I've done today. We'll probably be able to, we'll get through this together. We'll get through this together. <clears throat> I'm ready to enjoy the rest of my day. I'm ready to enjoy the rest of my day. And I can be more present with my family and friends now. And I can be more present with my family and friends now. So that's a, just a demonstration of sneaking away. Kind of, It's a chance to set, set this aside for wherever you're at right now and then um, give yourself a little bit of affirmation. I, I love doing it every time I do some tapping because it just kind of like, it just um, kind of reiterates the positive things that I've experienced and it kind of, um, uh, I guess, taps those into my awareness. So it's a really powerful technique and um, uh, yeah, I really like it. And most of the people I've worked with really like it as well. Yeah, so this would be useful if you decide to try and do some some tapping on your own. Um, one, we, we never get through everything in, in one session, whether you're sitting down for five minutes or an hour doing tapping with yourself or a practitioner. Um, there's always more work, right? <laughs> we always have some more we can work on. So this is kind of letting the subconscious know that, hey, I, I got some great work done here and I'm not done. There's more to do. Um, and so you can change that, that wording as, as you need to, um, to just touch on the points of the things that, that, that went really well, the stuff you're proud that you accomplished and realizing that, you know, there's more to do at another time. Thanks, Chris. That was a great job. Yeah, thanks. So um, one thing you can start doing now, um, if you have questions, is start typing those in and we'll um, answer those as we, uh, as we get to them. You know, and if, if you are brand new to EFT, would you go ahead and click the yes uh, button on the chat window? Um, just out of curiosity, if anybody is. It's brand new. Yeah, there's like little buttons you can click yes or no. Um. Or, or, type, or, or you can type yes too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, Lionel. Okay, cool. Amy. And yes, this, um, this recording will be available um, afterwards. So one of the reasons we had everybody register was to, to stop any Zoom bombing from happening, but also um, we'll share um, some handouts and, and the recording as well. Um, we will not be recording the next section though, where I'm gonna be um, tapping with somebody one-on-one -on -one just so that we can um, help keep that uh, privacy for, for people. and. That way um, we'll have someone volunteer because the volunteer might not want um, their tap-in session out, out uh, in the, the internet land. Um, but yeah, so uh, any other questions, um, feel free to, to throw them out there. Um, next session, we're uh, looking at doing um, something that's called constri constricted breathing for our kind of global tapping, um, like what we just got through with today. Um, and that's a, a, a really neat technique and you can really see, um, you can really feel it, it work um, right then. It's a, it's a great technique that I often use as a kind of a, a demo if I don't have very much time to introduce somebody to EFT because um, people can get results right away. And then we would like to do something called surrogate tapping. Do you want to talk a little bit about what that is, Chris? Yeah, um, surrogate tapping is when you're tapping for someone else, and you can even use uh, surrogate tapping on like pets. Um, but we thought about it in terms of what's going on right now with um, 
maybe if you have a uh, family member or a loved one who's involved in the healthcare industry and involved with some of the uh, healthcare going on right now, um, we'll show you how to tap for them. Um, and um, yeah, what else would I say about that? Um, yeah, it's just an interesting technique. And uh, we'll, uh, we thought it would be good to present people because sometimes you wanna do something for somebody and maybe you don't know what to do, but surrogate tapping is, it can be a nice thing that might ease uh, what a person's going through. Yeah. Wonderful. So um, just looking at our, our list here. Um, okay, so one of, the, one of the things that I'm supposed to share with you is, so we will have some handouts that are available. Um, I'll be sharing um, a tapping chart that um, I use with clients that shows the point and it also talks about this, the setup statement so you can figure out what to say if you're tapping on your own. Um, and it shows all of the points. Um, I believe it does not have the liver point, which is uh, the other points are all on there. Um, so I'll make a note of that when we, when we send out the email. The liver point is just the very bottom of the rib cage, just under the breast for women. Um, and um, let's see. And then the recording. And I think we we're going to also be sending out just some tips for uh, doing EFT on your own. We are planning on um, holding these every week for the foreseeable future while we're still struggling with this, this pandemic, um, just so that we can um, have a, a place for people to, to come and, and learn EFT and get some EFT um, in their lives. Yeah, so feel free to invite other people that you think it might be beneficial for. Yeah, so I think um, the next thing is just while we are uh, while we are talking here, I'm going to share um, contact information for um, both Chris and I. So give me a second to actually get that shared here. And the next section that we're going to be doing, we're going to stop the recording um, so that we can honor the privacy of whoever uh, is going to volunteer, but we'd like to take a volunteer and I will be tapping with them one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and so we'll, we can bring up your, your camera and, and turn your mic on, um, whoever the volunteer is. But there's something in EFT called borrowing benefits and everyone um, who's just watching this will also be able to tap along and get benefits from that. And so Gary Craig, the, the founder and originator of EFT was doing a lot of uh, EFT and groups just trying to, to share this technique with people. And so he'd have one person in the front of the room that he was tapping with as if it were a private session and all these other people watching. And people started tapping along just because, out of boredom. Um, and, and then they started reporting amazing benefits. And so at some point it became an official thing that, um, that he started asking everybody to tap along. And so what you can do is as we start this next section, you can make a note of, of how you're feeling and what the main thing that's um, a concern for you right now, whether that's um, finances or um, worried about um, the, the lack of freedom and connection or any of these other stresses, stressors that are coming up for people. And you can um, just make note of that, give it um, a number from zero to 10 on what we call the SUDS scale. Um, I'll stop that screen share there and um, and then just tap along and say exactly what um, what I'm saying with the volunteer and so you you make a note of how you're feeling and what your issue is and then you put it aside and then you just tap along and say exactly what it is that that we're saying in the session together and then at the end you check back in and a lot of times people will have movement around their specific issue even though the words they were saying were related to the person who was the volunteer at the front of the room. Um, so barring benefits is a really, really powerful thing. It's something that you can continue to do outside of this call. I have one of the things that we'll share is I've started, created um, a playlist that will be added to, but it's a lot of videos of other people tapping um, with someone in a session that were recorded. And you can do this on your own time where you can watch um, these recorded sessions with people and borrow the benefits just by simply tapping along. Um, 
and you don't have to necessarily be, be working with somebody one-on-one -on -one to be able to get that because of um, these YouTube videos that are out there, people recorded, doing recorded sessions. Um, so that's one of the things that we'll be including. So at this point, can I have a volunteer who would, somebody who would like to, to step up and get some tap in one-on-one? -on -one? It can be about anything related to what we've talked about already, something very specific. Yeah, some, something that has to do with um, the pandemic. Um, um, but otherwise, it's it's kind of kind of open. So even though we ended up kind of moving towards finances, because a lot of that was what was showing up in the room, if yours isn't financial, but it's some other aspect of um, the pandemic and everything that's going on, um, that's quite all right you'd like to volunteer, just say in the chat. Oh, I see Michelle is, uh, has a thumbs up. 